welcome back lab squad to another video it's your girl shade here and based on the title based on the language you've just heard and based on the outfit i'm sure you guys are excited for today's video so i think in order for us to move forward i need to let you guys know where i am coming from which is very 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 far <laughs> Some of you guys have heard the story already, but trust me, this is a story that you will never get tired of hearing. And this is how Shade arrived in Jamaica and is still here living in Jamaica in 2020. But before I begin, pause, stick a pin. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Spread the word. Tell a friend, make the friend tell a friend. Help me to spread the word about this channel. Alright, I'm not going to keep on waiting too long. So let's dive right into it. Let's rewind and go back, 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 back into the 1990s. Alright, so as you can see, I'm all dressed up in my national outfit. <laughs> this is what I call my national outfit, guys. Anytime I'm missing home, this is the outfit that I put on. It helps me to feel closer even though i'm a million miles away from home so where is home who can guess where is home <laughs> my nona bright so i'm gonna even have a check yes so i am originally from china all right i'm not gonna go into specifics as into where in china just to protect my loved ones and family members there but china is very big so just know that i am from china all right so i remember growing up i was around five years old and i will have pictures and you know flashbacks and stuff like that added to the video as i go along to help authenticate this story all right so i was a little girl growing up and you know how when summer holidays come you jamaicans would probably go to america canada england wherever your family members were so my mom sent me to Jamaica one summer to spend the holidays with my aunt. You know, the usual. You pack your bags, you pack your passport. You know, you have your clothes, plus you have to bring things for the Jamaicans. You know, no, with no wiggle. So I was fully packed. I was sent off. Or should I say shipped off? I was sent off. Let me use that word. I was sent off to Jamaica. It was the year 2000, 2000, that year. I was sent off to Jamaica to spend the summer holidays with my aunt. Now, my aunt lived in Montego Bay, St. James. So, of course, I arrived at the Donald Sangster Airport in my bay. You know, as when you're traveling and you're under 18, you are given, back then, I don't know if they still do it now, but you are assigned to a hair hostess so basically you're assigned to someone and they call you an unaccompanied minor so I there was an unaccompanied minor and I was traveling to Jamaica by myself but I was assigned to a guardian as you put it so I arrived in Jamaica my aunt came and picked me up my aunt came and picked me up at the airport so everything went fine the flight to Jamaica was good it was long but you know they check on you every I would say every hour or so to see if you are all right and you know you sleep because back then the planes weren't as fancy as they are now with gadgets on every seat and stuff like that no so I arrived in Jamaica I remember seeing the ocean and it was a beautiful view because I got a window seat so I was at my aunt's house and we were having a grand time and this it was a weekend she decided to bring us to saint elizabeth so a famous attraction or tourist attraction is the black river safari in saint elizabeth now guys i did not know upon getting ready for that river trip that my life would have been changed forever now remember in china we do not have a lot of rivers where we would actually go and sing swim recreationally 
most of them are used for businesses and markets and stuff like that and transportation so imagine a little girl and you're told you're going to the river i was so excited i put on my bathing suit and everything all right now when we arrived at the river realized that we were the only ones there so we're like awesome it's not crowded today awesome so we were there swimming and stuff and then i remember i was in the water and then i started seeing some like chemicals or i don't remember exactly what i saw but i know i just felt different i just felt different i did not know what exactly happened but i just know i saw some chemicals in the water and then my skin started feeling different but you know, we still like, enjoy ourselves, right? So there I was having fun playing with my cousins and stuff like that. It was time for us to get ready. So my aunt, she was sitting down reading a book or don't even remember if we had cell phones back then. <laughs> but she was doing something. So it was time for us to dry off and get ready. And that's when I realized that while I was drying off with the towel, my skin that's when I looked and see that I look different. So I'm going to pause and insert a picture of how I looked before I went into the river. That's right here. Versus how I looked after I came out of the river. Which is right here basically. So, <laughs> so you guys can see the drastic change that occurred while swimming in the Black River in St. Elizabeth. I mean... The name speaks for itself. I think we should have taken a hint, but so guys, apparently there was a factory that was close by, and that factory had an oil spill. So the oil was in the water, and the oil reacted with my skin tone. It changed my eye color. It changed my hair texture. It changed my features, basically. Up to this day, doctors are still wondering why what was so specific in that oil like what was so special about that oil why it would react to my skin and stuff like that even though it's still a mystery so anyways as a little girl you don't really take you don't really let things affect you like that so we went home and you know we video called my mom in china she saw and we explained to her but we were still hoping that it would rub off or you know it would it would change it's just an allergic reaction to the oil so to speak Ooh, summer was over still no change no doctor can tell us why so my flight was booked for august 25th august 25th came i well from the day before i would have packed my bags and my aunt would ensure that i have everything and stuff like that so arriving at the airport <laughs> guys i thought i was going back home i said bye 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 see you guys next year and you know you give a speech and look i'm gonna miss you and we're gonna write each other and stuff like that when i went to the airport based on how i looked on my passport versus how i looked in person they decided that they aren't gonna let me board the plane <sighs> so I wasn't able to go home we started writing letters appeals and stuff like that to the courts to the system the embassy but they were basically accusing my aunt of fraud because you there you have a fully blown Chinese child on her passport and a Jamaican in person so it was a lot of legal battles so we just decided and based on advice from my mom in china to just stay do the full course still hoping that my skin would have reverted and my features would have came back here i am 20 years later still a jamaican so i haven't been able to go back home i'm still basically stuck in Jamaica but I am still making the best of it so my YouTube videos you guys might see me bringing out my Chinese side from now on 
I just want you guys to understand where it is coming from so you can see <laughs> hint, hint, where we are going. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have tons of questions. Be, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Tell me, tell me if you have any loved ones who came and went to Black River, if it had happened to anyone else. Of your family members I am very interesting to know you know and then we could link up and have like a I was once a Chinese story or I was once an American you know different different we can have different different stories all right so guys <laughs> all right guys so I'm really ho I'm hoping you enjoyed my story time and how I was originally from China I know I'm living in Jamaica. Make sure to tell your friends to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And love squad, we will see you next week with more videos.